It's the tale of two bright boys, one living in abject poverty with his father and ailing mother in a rural Clarendon community. My name is Tisha Wainamada. I'm a student at the North of Primary School. The other left fatherless after cancer claimed the primary breadwinner. I am Martin Thomas. I attend the Moko Primary Infant School. Both G-set scholars with stories of immense determination, devotion, and sweet success. My task is really to speak to some students that I have here who are doing exceptionally well, poised to do great things, and are from varying socio-economic backgrounds. Meet Tishani Morgan, the deputy head boy at the Moko Primary and Infant School in Clarendon, now looking forward to starting Glenmuir High School come September. My greatest wish when I go to high school is to be the top C set student in, in the Caribbean. Over the years, he has topped his class throughout. He has also been featured as one of our, the Gleaners, top of the class achievers. And so he continues to do very well. Tishani, right now, he's not doing very well emotionally. We're trying to provide that support because his mother is ailing. And so that is sort of putting a bit of pressure on him. The fortunes are different for Tishani's classmate, Mark Wayne Thomas. But the discipline and devotion to duty is just the same. He is from um, the working class family. He recently suffered a loss in his family as he lost his father a few months ago and the father was the, not the sole breadwinner but the primary breadwinner for the family. He has not allowed this to distract him. He has a very supportive mother. His father was very supportive of the institution as well. The success is simply sweet for Tishani, his father and an ailing mother praying for strength. Even through my illness, when he gets home, he has to help me to cook sometimes. And his little chores around the house, he, he, he has to do it. And, you know, I, I was confident that he will, he will pass his Jesus. I see that my father is working very hard to send us to school. And I didn't want him to be upset with me. So I tried my best to do my part to make him happy. Oh, I feel proud about the Shani Morgan that he passes Jesus. And in the next 10 years or 15 years, I'd like to see him be a doctor, get his dream to be a doctor. He is now our top performing boy and he's also our top student overall with an average of 92.4% and he has been placed at the school of his first choice, Glenmore High School. Sometimes he now focus because, because his mother loves his mother and his mother is not well so he feels upset sometimes about his mother. And now, now I like to come in and date them and say, Mommy, Mommy not up there with him. He said, oh, go on, son. But we feel proud about this, Jesus. He went going well today. The illness uh, amper me, amper me. You know, it make me feel sometimes really drained. And sometimes I feel like you're never going to make it. But the, I have faith that God will help me to live to see him. To see him come through and live to, to you know, live long. That's it. I just want to see God, God help him through. Mark Wayne Thomas is now on the cusp of starting secondary training at the Denby High School. And his family is floating in pride. I felt good about, I don't get the average as it, but I, I felt good about is, is the hard work that we have put in. Parents and the teachers, as well as uh, Mark Queen. Congratulations, boys! My greatest wish is to, when I'm out of high school, to become a pilot. He got a few trophies and uh, medals, and he always take them up and said to me, Mommy, I want to fill this place with medals and trophies. So I know he has a dream. In spite of him losing his father, at the peak of the GSAT preparation, he lost his father, died from cancer, but 
with my help and other family members along with the school family it motivates him a lot we motivated him and it helps a lot now we learned again that we should encourage the students to bloom wherever they are planted it does not matter the school to which you are placed what matters is what you do with the opportunities that are presented to you when you go to that institution